welcome to Highland Orchards. This property has been in my family since 1832. We currently have three generations here on the farm. My mother, my brother, myself, and my daughter. We've always grown fruits and vegetables. As the years progress, customers found everything in the grocery store from everywhere. So we ex start slowly expanded what we were carrying. As you can see here, we can grow quite a variety of uh, vegetables. Our second crop of tomatoes are coming along nicely, and so we'll have tomatoes this winter. <laughs> uh, we couldn't before. These hoop houses is able to expand our business considerably because uh, obviously we can grow our greens all winter instead of first frost, you're done. Hoop houses have changed a lot of local farming. We've opted to put some heat in here and kind of play around so that we can have cucumbers, tomatoes, and maybe a little better growth out of the cooler crops. And the outside growing, we only get basically May, September, and October. And now we can grow year round. A hydro house, which we put in last year. It's like a whole new farm because a bok choy can take five, six weeks to grow. Outside, it's more like eight to 10. Lettuce, six to seven weeks to grow, whereas outside, it's eight to 12. The future of farming to me is definitely a little more enclosed, so we get higher productivity out of every square foot. Part of what we do is giving recipe ideas and how to prepare foods. We do encourage people to do that, even if it's a simple preparation. Not everything has to be complex or complicated. Just eating fresh counts for a lot. Where can we help people connect with food and educate people like, okay, you have a turnip. This isn't the end of the world. You know, and maybe they're really good. I like moms and dads will be like, oh yeah, my daughter's three, she loves your peas, you know, I'm like, that's awesome. We have animals for that same reason, because a live chicken's an exotic animal anymore. Most people aren't even allowed to have one. Everybody thinks maybe chicken's just something that comes in plastic wrap or chicken nugget or it's a flavor, but no, it's a real animal. Farm life is good. I love watching things grow. I just enjoy it. I love seeing stuff that starts out really little and then two weeks later it's bigger and then a couple weeks later we're ready to start harvesting. That gives me great pleasure. To me, food is real. Food is an essential, real, basic building block. You are what you eat is more real than I ever thought when I was growing up. What we're doing is we're just, it's a relationship between us, the farmer, and you, the family. Our job is to make you happy. I was born and raised here. The old saying, there's no place like home. We feel proud that we can still be here on this piece of property <laughs> from way back when. I'm Shirley Men. And I'm Regina Mitchell. For more videos like this, subscribe to WHYY.